Hi, this is Mama Purple in Queensway, and we've got Mama Love here from New York, numerologist, love therapist, and we just wondered, honey, what do you think of the election campaign here in England? <laughs> That's about it. <coughs> Every time I hear these clowns see them on TV, I have the feeling that I'm being whisked into Disneyland. And uh, I just think that it's all uh, Mickey Mouse government. And they're all, now we have three Mickey Mouse, Mouse guys trying to plot for, uh, for uh, where they want to be, prime ministers, like being the president of the country. I mean, the, the whole world's getting crazy. The Americans have a black Muslim now. Now they and they they want to put a, uh, a, a Disneyland character in here. I mean, enough is enough. What are we gonna do except? <laughs> That's it. Ah. And you don't want to say. And uh, you, you're going back to New York soon to write your book, the numerology book. What's your book called? My book is called Gold LeMay. Gold LeMay, and and this. Helps people find love through numerology. Love through numerology? I can't hear. What? Do you, if you understand your numerological number, can you find better love in the world? Well, the, the numerology that I write it depicts everyone's uh, life destiny number, which depicts their inner nature. So if you can study the inner nature of other people, and, you, and yourself as well, then you can find a more perfect match for yourself. Mm -hmm. So do you think if we did the numerology of these leaders, that would help? Well, who would it help? I mean, mm -hmm. you're not So what do you suggest choice, for... You know? Is there any answer to the triangular... No, there's conversation no that's no, going no, on. Anyone I've spoken to, old, young, stupid, intelligent, they all, they wouldn't even know who to vote for. They say there's really no choice. One is just as bad as the other. They're, they're all ridiculous. Mm -hmm. they, none of them give hope. None of, none of them are qualified to give hope. Uh, at least Obama gave us all hope and we believed in him until we realized that he was lying to us all the time after he said we would have no more wars and that he's sending 30,000 innocent men and women over to Afghanistan to fight for, they think, against the terrorists. But what they're really fighting for is the rights to the oil. Oh, so their pipeline is going through there. It's the pipeline they're fighting for. Right. But they're not intelligent enough, they haven't been educated as kids, to know because so it's all the black trash, white trash, American, Mexican. Well, I wouldn't call them trash. They're just, they're just economically... Uh, so the poor people poor go people, out as they're chicken fodder. educated, fodders. right, and they, they woo them, and the officers go in with their nice dress uniforms into these little towns and they uh, they just talk them into joining and say we'll give you money, we'll, we'll train you, we'll give you schooling, you'll see the world, blah blah blah. And they, uh, they really have no choice. No so other you don't choice. think any government's going to really go for world peace right now? No government wants world peace. They're all greedy. They're greedy for power and money, all of them. That's mm. all government is about, and controlling the people. The, the, mm. uh, the populations have grown out of bounds, and they're so fearful, the governments, that they can't keep control. And that's why we have more and more control, and more and more laws and rules that mm. are just limiting us to nothing. They've taken away our smoking privileges and created smoking as something that it, the most destructive thing in the world to everyone's health and then and now they're starting on the alcohol so uh, they're going to give out ration cards so you'll be rationed and limited to a certain uh, a few ounces 
of booze a week that you can drink. So what they are doing is taking away all the possibilities and, and ways for people to relax after a hard day's work. Mm, so they'll always be tense. They want tension. With tension, you pay attention to the rules and regulations. You're fearful. You're in fear all the time. So the culture is bullying. That, bullying. That's how, bullying. Nat, that's how uh, Hitler ruled the Nazis, through mm. fear. And anybody and would, would you say that across Europe and down into Israel, all these governments everywhere, are saying? Everywhere, everywhere, all governments. They control the people with fear. Anyone of so no one's like Gandhi. We haven't got that. a Gandhi then. No Gandhis, no. Well, I thought, I even I thought that Obama was going to be another Gandhi. Yeah, lots really of people from Australia. And, and I do, I have to say something about Obama. Even though he is proven to be a liar and he's proven to be a failure and all the ideals and wonderful things he said he was going to do, I have to say that I do believe that he's under control. Mm. He was put into that seat because he never could have gotten there himself. He was mm. put in the, that seat of presidency by high-powered people because he was not born in the United States. His birth certificate is phony. He was born in Africa and he was schooled in Muslim schools until he was the age of 11 and that is the formative years. And this can be proven now, and there's gonna be a whole uproar. So the poor guy has really been a puppet. Okay. Well, anyway, one love from Queensway. There's lots of shopping here. We got people from all over the world shopping here. And uh, as Mama loves going back to New York, and you can find her on the international website for numerological readings. And if you want to come to Queensway shopping, website is mamalabconnect.com. Okay. And let's forgive our leaders. And if you think you can be a better leader, stand up and be one.